today I'll be presenting to you uh, how to use Edmodo, a tutorial for students in UC Edmodo. Before that, I would like to show you that I actually already have created several classes uh, in my Edmodo account. And you notice here I have here a test class. Let me open test class. So under my test class, I already have here a quiz. So I already created a quiz. I created an assignment. Now let's proceed to the student platform. So let me create an account for student using the model. So I'm going to type here with model.com. So as you can see here, we have here the homepage of Edmodo. So let's assume that you don't have any account yet. So we're going to sign up for a free account using Edmodo. So I'm going to click here, sign up for a free account. Let's create a student account. So you can sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft. Or if you're given the class or school code, you can just enter the school code and then fill out these text boxes. Okay, and then I'm going to create my username. So you have to create a unique username. So let's say I'm going to call it student name test two. So let's say that's the name of the student. Then password. So I'm going to type and confirm my password. So after that, just click create your account. Then you have to complete your profile. So first name, let's say we have here uh, Ivana Alawi. So let's say December 10th, year 2000. Then done. So just an example student. Then you can also do this, uh, fill out these things here, or you can just skip. For the meantime, I'll just skip. So we have created our welcome dialog box. So welcome, your account is being created. So I just click here. Okay. So that is now my home page for my test class. So you notice uh, here is one of the uh, one of my postings in my class. So please read this article. And then here is the quiz that I've shown you a while ago. And this is the assignment I have shown you also a while ago. So the teacher can always post articles, a link, just like in this case, it can be text, it can be in the form of text, or videos. So you can do this asynchronously. You can do it anytime during, uh, if you have your free time, you can actually read, you can actually view videos, etc. posted by your instructors or by your teachers. Let's try, for example, to take quiz. Because the quiz will be due on August 31. But you can already take the quiz because it, it was already assigned to you by your teacher. So it says here, instructions select the best answer. So three questions, three points, good for 10 minutes. So I'm going to take the quiz. So this is a multiple choice quiz. Not all quizzes are multiple choice quizzes. So there are quizzes that requires fill in the blanks, etc. So let's say, for example, I want to answer this one. These are row facts like numbers, etc. So let's say, for example, memory. Of course, that's the wrong answer. Electronic device capable of accepting data. Let's say that's the hard disk. Again, that's the wrong answer. It is composed of interrelated parts, you know, parallel them, and that's the system. That's the correct answer. And then just submit the piece. Okay. Then you can review the quiz if you want, especially for multiple choice type quizzes. You can review the quiz because the quiz will be automatically checked by the computer. 
But for other types of quizzes, sometimes it will be the teacher who will be checking and grading your quiz. Assignment, if you want to do your assignment, the same, you just open the assignment, then read, and then you can attach your work, etc. Let's say, for example, you created your work using Word, then you can just attach your uh, work as an answer to your assignment. So I will not be doing that again anymore here. So let's go back again to home. I can also view the progress. So if I click on progress, I can view here the result of my quiz, quizzes. So I have already answered, was graded 33.33%. The success of your online class can also depend on how you interact with your uh, classmates and teachers. So let's say, for example, you want to so send a message to your teacher and maybe ask for something. So to do that, you can just click on messages. Then you can click on this icon then send to so let's say it's your teacher and mr sila is your teacher so click here then click here a message and send This can be your teacher later on can also reply to your message. So in that case, you be you can interact with your teacher anytime. You can also use the backpack. What is the backpack? Backpack can be used to organize your files. So if you have files, you're using files. For example, your uh, documents you can actually organize them using your backpack so you can create a new folder for example my notes add folder then inside this folder you can actually add a lot of things here like files assignments etc so you can click for example under my notes, new, I want to place a Word document. So I can, I can click on Word document. I want to place an Excel worksheet or I want to place a link. So I found a link that is quite helpful in my subject. So I can place here links. So in this case, you can actually use the backpack to organize your, right? so let's try, for example, inserting a Word document. Read the word document. You can close this. So you notice I have now my document. That's it for this crash course tutorial on Edmodo for students. I believe you would soon be comfortable in using this application since its interface resembles that of Facebook. As you use it, you will be discovering more features of this application. And thank you for watching this tutorial.